Christian Welsh will take them out. Melbourne on home soil. A great banner, a brilliant winter's afternoon in Melbourne. Kitcher revved up. Thunderstruck. It's been there since the start. They are passionate. The fan base of the Melbourne Storm. Key players are plenty today for the Storm as well. Yeah, big day for Cameron Munster. They've only won two out of their last five. They've been beaten by Penrith twice in the last five weeks since Origin, and he's been a little quiet. Today, they get a chance to go straight into the top four with two or three games remaining in the season. So I expect him to, to really stand up, and the Storm will need him to stand up. Big Sunday afternoon, as always, here on Fox League. We'll have the Knights and the Bulldogs for you later on. I mentioned the record of Melbourne at home this year. At Amy Park, they have won six of seven. But uh, this, for all intents and purposes, may be called a semi-final. It's not sudden death, but it's a semi-final. Fourth and fifth on the ladder. The Sunday ticket on Fox League. Raiders with first use of the ball. And what has been a repeating factor in Canberra wins over Melbourne, the platform laid by Papali'i and Tarpani. Tarpani magnificent in the final series last year. No surprise that uh, Papali'i took the first run of the day. And play three, it is Tarpani on the run. Ran for over 200 metres, in fact, in that finals appearance last year. Now, Horsburgh. He won't shirk the tough stuff either. Good first carry there. Over the 40 metre line. Walford. Pumali E with his second run of the set. And there's your platform laid in the first set of the day. Back for Fogarty to kick. The uh, football marking still very much distinctive on the field here at Amy Park. They've seen the last of the World Cup action. And yeah, looks like he's going to be on plenty of pressure too. Fogarty taken out after the kick downfield. But it was a good set from the Raiders. Intent. A good run from Horsburgh. There's the first knock on there. Forced a mistake out of the hands there. Uh, young Tottenham Mapia will have no challenge. He'll just have to go to his position and cop his medicine. And Canberra about to have a full set in the attacking zone of the Storm. A yeah, loose carry there. Uh, by the storm, but exactly what Ricky Stewart would have wanted. Get the Melbourne Storm down there into the field, muscle up in defence, force some errors. It's been the it's been the way they've beat Melbourne over the last two or three years, and really in the game they've got what they've wanted straight away. By the stats, the first half score line is so important. Canberra in all those wins here, they have led or been level at half time. When they haven't, uh, they've only had the one success. Strong run there by the setter, Timiko. Play one, 19 metres away from the storm line. Walford on a set restart. Wrap it up. Ethan Strange in this side. Uh, in the number three on the left side, waiting to see his involvement. Now Tarpany with it. Ten from the line. Melbourne fans know their team's under pressure here. Right off the bat, Wolford, Horsburgh, and then Fogarty, the kick, flicked on by Whiten. <laughs> Penalty, whistle blown with referee oh, Atkins, had them offside. The whole line. I was thinking, hang on a sec, they're going Stranger's way, he'll, he'll score in the opening minutes. It's a good start there from the Canberra Raiders. They forced the error, then they got the six again. Wait. Melbourne come just back. off their Wait. line, they got done for numbers there. Just whiten with the touch on play, but they're offside. Here they come again. What about the clash of the two sixes? Munster v. Whiten today. So influential on their teams. Played by Horsburgh. Misses out Tarpity there. Ducked off for Whitehead. And thrown down by the defence. Good shot there from Welsh. Wolford, they'll keep it close. Tarpity, we know he can offload. He's right in front of the sticks here. Multitude of lines here as Whiten goes across again. Dummies to Strange. Four tackles up. Fogarty. Then Papali'i has scored a few tries here at 80. 
Andu is back in the tackle. Last play it is. They come open side. Fogarty kicks straight into the chest, more or less, of Liero. Christian. Way too early, mate. There we go. He plays advantage early, again. Yeah, well, she could see him just sprint off the line there. He's obviously offside. It'll be interesting to see what the Raiders do. Whether it's a give me two points, whether they take the shot at goal, but I'm going to look at the amount of ball that they've had early in this game. It looks like they're going to have the shot. Yeah, we see Wells fly out of the line there and deemed offside by referee Atkins, but two points is the right call, I think. Block at this stage of the game. Uh, they've had a couple of good shots at Melbourne and they've repelled them, so get your two points and get back and bring the ball out of your own end and start again. There we go. The stress of even being assistant coach there. Michael McGuire <laughs> was up and out of his chair. Just relax, Anthony. He will get you some grapes and in the commentary box for Fox League. Totally different <laughs> environment here to what the, the fellas are going through there. We'll go to Darcy McDonald in a moment. Two penalties offside on your line. You don't want to push the envelope too much with your referee. I don't think he's, his patience would last. So a 2 0 start. Canberra against Melbourne. Let's go to Darcy for the first time today on a brilliant winter's day in Melbourne. Good afternoon, gentlemen, and everyone tuning in. A crowd of 20,000 expected at Amy Park on what is a cracking day in Melbourne. 13 degrees and barely any breeze. Uh, I'm told the reason Harry Grant, the man on your screen, the reason he is on the bench is purely to lighten the load on him after a big month of footy, and we can expect to see him injected at around the 20-minute mark. Now, it's a big moment for the Raiders' 18-year-old debutant, Ethan Strange. His mum is here, and I've spoken to his dad, who is nervously watching on from his hotel room after coaching the Roosters NRLW side over the phone a little earlier. OK. So, Melbourne, there was some talk that he was actually given permission to come to the game. Uh, Mum Adele watching close up and Papali'i on the run. And then, of course, uh, Sister Jasmine to play this afternoon for Newcastle in RLW. It is some story. Raiders with the ball, no penalty there. Milking the call. And now Whitehead. Plenty of physicality in here. Welsh wants more than the player who was tackling there. He got mixed up with a couple. Horsburgh, Whitehead and Wolf. I think, I think he wanted all three. Now Horsburgh with it. The arrow with the defender. Wolford, right side. Fogarty, nice meters for Canberra. Nothing too adventurous, but... Uh, Good ground to follow the opening points of the day. Back away for Whiten. One of the chasing defenders ended up on the deck. And underneath it is Coates. And he is clobbered from behind there by Hudson Young. Storm we learn. Ryan Pappenhausen, second game back yesterday in some very good numbers. Remus Smith into the back line today wearing jumper 19. Garlic is the starting hooker. Here is Welsh. Well, quite the season for Bronson Garlic. His 17th appearance for Melbourne today. And, uh, starting the match. Now coming Kamitha. Standard set from Melbourne there. Hughes the bomb. Down the rapper. Who will turn 34 on Tuesday. Jordan very much in the veteran class in the NRL, but Pudgy was good last week in his second start at fullback for the season against the Tigers. Yeah, that was important set there for the Storm to complete because the Canberra Raiders are five from five to start this game. After the error we saw from the Melbourne Storm early in the game, they had to complete. Now they've got to muscle up in defence. They're having trouble putting Papa Leahy, Tarpany and Horsburgh on the ground. And now Whiten, short side. Oh, he, uh, Young has pulled his hands away from it. He wasn't happy necessarily with the offload from Whiten and a shake of the head and an error inside their own half. Whiten beats the first defender there on the short side and he feels a bit of space, but Young wasn't interested in it, uh, which has caused a bit of confusion there by the two left side players there, but they would have been better off doing what they've done the last three or four sets and get down the middle of the field, get the ball down the other end and keep the Storm under the pump, but now Storm got their first good ball set. King on play one. We observe there that Katoa in the starting side in 15 as well for Melbourne today. Isaac back to the bench. Hughes, there he is. Katoa right on cue. 
and he was back slammed and lost it. That is really strong defense. Talk about redemption for a mistake. Whiten, really strong. Well, he makes up for the error a little bit earlier. Yeah. That's the big thing. A couple of plays early from Whiten. I love it when he runs the ball. Tuck the ball under the arm and run as hard as you can. He is a handful, but he makes up for that mistake a little bit earlier. That's a sign of a good player. On the linebacks. And that's Canberra all over, isn't it? They, they just compete on everything, particularly when they're playing Melbourne and Melbourne. They make an error, but then straight back and force one out of you. Raiders and Storm here on Fox League. And Canberra back with the ball. Timberfold took the first one. Hoppawadi takes the next. They have some uh, real tackle busters in that three-quarter line. Hoppawadi and Timberfold and Kotrick. All capable of relieving the forwards early in a set. Good run by Tarpany to halfway. Now Horsburgh, they're setting it up on the right. Melbourne outside in and Fogarty onto his back. Well, she that tackle. Ten minutes gone. Just flown by here. Horsburgh now. Oh, laid off lad from Corey. Caught between the legs of Tarpany. Fogarty now. Rapida thought there'd been a touch in there. Raiders, 35 away. Whiten is the bomber. Left footer. Underneath it is Meany. And catches with leg raised or leading leg raised. And Melbourne safely in possession. You notice who was the first man up with the chase there too. Rapina playing fullback today for the Canberra Raiders. Loves to get himself involved in the game. Penalty goes the way of Melbourne. Cheer from the crowd, and that'll send Melbourne to halfway or thereabouts. They needed that, Melbourne. Canberra have had 70, 75% of the ball in the first 10 minutes. They just needed that little rest and get some ball in their hands. Now, Sebek. So, Storm 10 metres inside the Canberra half. Hughes on to King. So Kingley Fort battle this. Now they get their first set restart of the day. Across with Munster to link up with Meany. Beats a couple. This is where we look to the six and the seven of Melbourne to take ownership. They're 20 away from the line. Munster's the first one with a crack. Dumps it off there for Totemapia headed back in field. Canberra able to get the job done, but there's still another three tackles. Only 10 from the line. Slow play the ball. Garlic to the right. Welsh to Hughes. W run. Hughes just for a moment. He had a, a fleeting glimpse at the line. Garlic to Welsh. Hasn't scored. Hasn't scored since 2021. The captain has rolled over. It's a moment not lost on the teammates. The serious knee injury last year. No tries on return this season. But there's a four-pointer to the skip. Yeah, great work by uh, Melbourne. They've been under the pump, as we said, for 10, 12 minutes there defensively up their own end. The first time they get up here, they get a simple try here. Uh, Garlic does well just to bring uh, Welsh onto the ball and he crashes straight through the tackle there of Tarpanay and Papali. And uh, that's not a good sign for the Raiders. They've had all the running early and the first chance that Melbourne get their big front rower jumps straight over the try line. Yeah, geez, a big inclusion, isn't he? Hughes back into the side off that right foot. That's his signature play, the quick play the ball. Walsh just decides to do it all on his own. Thought they might have thought that they were going to go out in the back there. Got caught a little bit flat-footed, Tarpany. And that's a good try. They were under the pump early in this game. What about the bragging right to the try? You're right, Anthony. Yeah. You identify the two defenders. He carries over the line. Are the two front rowers. His last try was in the final series of 2021 against Manly for Christian Welsh. And he's beaten the two front rowers to score. He block. They got caught a little bit flat-footed there. Andrew, but it was from the quick play, the ball and the half break from Hughes. And he does it all himself. Good hit back from Melbourne. Melbourne in front by four. Meany, very capable goal kicker. 
Very capable of everything. Nick Meany, Melbourne lead by six points to two. The pointing here, Anthony, was interesting. It was like Christian Wall said, I want to have a crack. Yeah, he did. And Bronson Gala gave him some great service there. We're still waiting for Harry Grant to come on, but Bronson Garlic's made the most of that opportunity. Perfectly timed pass for uh, Christian Welsh. And as you say, he took the big two big blokes on, and that's very un line they, they normally muscle up really well uh, in the middle of the field there, but they're a bit brittle there. If you have a look at that, he got himself a little bit wider of the ruck, which took out the markers. Yeah. Markers didn't come across hard enough. Walsh scores the first try. But there he is. Confidence oozing now. Welsh takes the run back from the kickoff. Garlic and on the floor, Katoa. Been an enormous 24 hours in rugby league. Let's get it away early. Well done to the Lee Leopards, winners of the Challenge Cup, to Adrian Lamb, to Lachlan Lamb, the Lance Todd Trophy winner. Field goal in Golden Point. And he's on man kick for field goal for Wigan years ago. Well, he won a title there, so that is an amazing moment in rugby league. And to Sean Kenny Dow, the, the captain of whole KR, they couldn't have tried any harder. It was an amazing game. Storm with it up over halfway. Go five, go back. Roya. Welsh and Tuppany. Yes. They want to get it on. And uh, Papa comes in. He might have got a bit dirty. He got over the top of him to score that try. I'd say, yes. Coming he got caught up in a little niggle the set before. Remember uh, Welsh there with one of the front rowers as well. Play the ball. Play the ball. The reason we stop it, this isn't rugby union. No, don't turn back. Play it there. <laughs> Wait it there. says it isn't Go rugby union. Uh, <laughs> Welsh, Welsh was under assault from both front rows. Well, I like it. It shows what it means to both sides. It's an important game. We've already mentioned it earlier. High ball and Hapalani with it. He just managed to get it before they got to him. He did well, evasive skills. But right at the moment, it's Welsh one. <laughs> Papa and Tarpity nil. Might not stay that way. Raiders in possession. Now Wolford. Timicol. Mark down in the Melbourne game plan as a, a real danger runner. He's headed for a, a hundred plus tackle bust this season, Timicol. Horsburgh. To carry again. Now Wolford. Raiders straightening up. Wrapping up. So over the outside, backs are just running dead straight here for Canberra. And away to Fogarty, a little off the side of the boots. And 20 minutes out, Coates to get near it. Play on. No touch from Melbourne. Last tackle. And the ball handed over to the Storm. You want a challenge? Oh, a whitehead on the deck. You've got to okay, be mate. certain, haven't you? Got a captain's challenge. I'm going to play it early. Six. Canberra claiming it's touched in the contest, restarting a tackle count. I, I think this is the captain going on his own here. Captain's challenge, and the captain is the only one who thought he had a view of this. I thought watching live that Coates didn't get to it. Raiders right side, kick chases onside. Okay, here. Cotry getting through. Well, that's Ooh. all Kotrick's arm, isn't it? It might have bounced off Coates' right hand here on the way out. Yeah, it yeah, does too. It, it does. The ball is touched by Nick Kotrick and then Xavier Soaks. Coates, we're just looking for an angle perspective to see which direction the ball goes. Well, of course it went forward. It well, well, doesn't really matter if he's touched it. It's, he's uh, touched it, it's right as ball. Tackle gap. Exactly. Six to go. So, Elliot Whitehead. Nick Not Cotrick's only. hands are in front of the ball. The ball goes backwards. It touches Xavier Coates. Uh, and the ball goes forward. Challenge is successful. So Elliot Whitehead, not only is he the, the champion yeah, captain's, captain's challenger, he's, he's on his vision. Fantastic. He knew what he was doing. He was the captain and he saw him touch it. So I said, by any guy, he's it's got it back. Well done, Elliot Whitehead. You'd be embarrassed if it went the other way. <laughs> well, yes. Time on. Let's go. So Canberra, what a, what a stroke of, well it's not luck because it, it was the right call, but it becomes a big moment if they convert it into points. Walford, Fogarty, Whitehead there, rather a 
appropriate if he scores the points. They didn't get him to ground there either. Probably he, so many lines there. No wonder Melbourne will get offside. They know which line to go back to. Now Wolford. Horsburgh. Fogarty. Got away from Tony Mapia. Then left behind Liero. That is last line of defence stuff for Melbourne. Wolford and uh, Whiten across. Papali'i with it. So uh, and Kamikamitha the tackle. Last it is. They will go to the short side. A little dab from Whiten. Looked hard. And it is. And got it wrong there, Jack. Seven tackle set for Melbourne. Great defence there by Melbourne. They took the challenge on with the big men from Canberra. They got off their line really hard. The whole set. I thought Fogarty had a chance once he got underneath the rushing defence, but really big defensive set there by the Storm. 17 and a half gone. Just the one try. That to Melbourne, even though Canberra's had 13 tackles inside the Storm 20. Get ready to play it here. Gallic. Welsh and Hughes and along for Katoa. Football Warrior now playing his 16th game for the Storm. Hughes, little show, goes wider, monster kicks, will send. Coates on the run, it bounces hard. Coates kept it in, what a play! What a play to Tony Mapia! Canberra coming from everywhere. Oh, he stopped short. I don't think the ball touched the line. Well done by Kotrick. Didn't they come in numbers? It looked like he was going to score for all money. I don't think it's a try. Yeah, I think Kotrick's got, no got his arm underneath. Can we check for a double movement? Kicking early in the tackle camp. Well done by Munster. Saw that the wingers were up. The kick in behind. It was a chase. And they'll be unfortunate not to come away with this here. Good play. Look Still, where the winger is. Uh, left side kick chase is on side. The chase is on. Kotrick. Big man, slow to turn around. He gets himself back there. The ball knocked back in field. That's play on. Nice. Nice from Coates. Look at the athleticism. Yeah, exactly. Of Coates stays in field, playing on to this point. Have a look where Kotrick is now. He's out yeah. of the field to play. If he stops his try, it's an unbelievable effort to get himself back in there. Block, I'm thinking he'll be saved the double movement because while there's a second movement, I don't think he gets to the line. So you can rule out penalty if he doesn't get there. He has a crack. Oh, he he comes. Oh. Oh. Is he held up? It's pushed down by Kotrick at the finish. Young Tonopia is short of the line and then loses possession of the ball. We have a decision. Oh, that's close. That's desperate. How good. That's why the bunker is great. I mean, to be able to watch something as close as that. Millimetres, Anthony. Fantastic effort by Kotrick, though, wasn't it? He, he made three plays. The, the initial one to get across and and uh, get in front of him, and then twice he was around his legs, and then the third time he had to get up off the ground and go and stop the ball. That's a match-winning match, match winning, uh, defensive effort by Kotrick. Start the clock. Work out that way. Craig Bellamy v Ricky Stewart also in the battlefront today. The record is uh, 20 10, 20 wins for Bellamy, 10 for Stewart. Overall, Canberra's record against Melbourne is actually ordinary, as in 16 out of 52. But here in Melbourne, they've just found the secret. Typical on the run. It's good intensity building in this game. They've, they've both been trying to feel each other out early. And it's got a real finals feel about it. I think it'll open up at some stage. Coach, the man who almost came up with the ball off the kick there, got the hat trick in the beaten side in the final series last year. And the penalty goes Canberra's way. Gee, they needed something too. Both yeah. sides battling to get off their own line. And penalties are relieving. Kamakamitha, I think it is, with the high shot on Tarpany. I know it's Walsh. Just a loose arm, left arm, just going up, creeping up a little bit. Good touch find, a block. Plenty of ground bitten off there. And the free kick will come at the 35 mark. 
Horsburgh centre field for Canberra on yeah, play one. I like this for the Raiders too. They've been caught 10 metres out, hard to attack from. Maybe they've got a little bit more room now. So on an edge with Dangula. He's on the field for Papali'i off for a rest. Uh, Papali'i in his opening stint had eight hit ups for 68 metres. Fogarty, they're moving quick here. Whiten didn't quite get it cleanly. Still got past Munster. Now, Fogarty, been a quiet start to the game from Munster. Uh, oh, flick pass, one hand. Right for Kotrick. A little bit of dazzle there from the Raiders. Very clever. Elliot Whitehead. Ten from the line, four tackles down. And in front, Whiten. Fogarty. One is still. Wrap it up. Strange puts it down. Under the attention of Remus Smith. Up he comes. Passes to Hughes. Hughes gets over halfway. It was an awkward looking tackle, but. I know the crowd's not happy, I was fine with it. Following up is Marion Seve. Harry Grant goes on, 21 minutes into the game. Hughes, Munster, then Liero, round the corner, good ball, online pass. Todd Mapia to Coates, who made a very early decision to come back in field. More or less read into trouble. And a few tackles into the set, Munster. I feel as if they've got the Raiders here. Wants to checking the tackle count. It's three. Grant. Right. The Hughes to bring Moody in. Great tackle, Strange. Right in years of age on debut. Smith Collin. They get him high. Whiten. No. Last tackle. Melbourne. Hughes. Low kick catch. <laughs> Who knew? Corey Horsburgh. The reflexes. You know, it doesn't surprise me he comes up with plays like that. Reflexes there from Horsburgh. You know, just hope the young kid doesn't go into his shell now. Strange. He's made a great tackle. Got himself back involved with the run there. And what about the take from Horsburgh? Oh, that's a catch. <laughs> Straight in the comic cuts and uh, was able to hang on to it. Canberra with the ball. Whiten on the edge with Young. Last tackle it is for the Raiders, recovering after absorbing a bit of pressure there. Whiten kicked down a narrow channel on the left. That's a pretty good and accurate kick. He's given the ball five in from touch, and he lands at five in from touch, some 40 metres or so downfield. Storm outside their 20. And of course, with Coates. Timiko got him a little high. Crowd is certainly invested in the contest. Offload Liero, that's his second one. Grant on a scurry to halfway. Melbourne just starting to break the Raiders open a little bit here. Hughes, kick for placement. Rapid will have some work to do here. It's not going to go dead. Look at the chases. Look at the chases. First man gets him. Yeah, Canberra. There's about eight players walking back. They're inside their team. Drop ball here would be nasty. They've turned up the dial a little bit over the last four or five minutes, Melbourne. A little bit of possession's got them some confidence in their play now. They're defending well. Strange very much in the uh, the white and mold. He's playing centre. Five eight is his preferred position. Uh, Ethan Strange wearing the number three, played right centre for New South Wales under 19s, where he got the hat trick. White and kicks. That's from inside the 40. Straightens on landing. Smith has a good look at it. Not a bad set from Canberra to get control back into the performance. Yeah, I know they've had a lot more ball now, the Melbourne Storm, but it coincides with Harry Grant coming onto the field. Yeah. He's got that little bit of spark out of dummy half. Well, it's a perfect time for him to come on, isn't it? And, uh, and him. Yeah, in yeah. play. <laughs> He's fairly yeah. handy. Off the bench, Asifa Solomona and Grant. Oh, no. Drops and dropped by Fogarty. Mealy put it down. As it was building for Melbourne. Three. Three. It's a bit almost for Melbourne at the moment. They oh look God. like they're about to absolutely rip Canberra open and then 
Just pull him up. Where would you where would you stop him blocking? You're a big fella. Where would you go with uh, yeah, I don't know. He, Nelson he, Rudnett? He, what, are you asking me back in the day or now? <laughs> I know what the answer yeah. would have been back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little nerve that runs just down there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He would scare a starving dog out of a butcher shop, wouldn't he, Nelson? Very hard to handle that, mate. It is scary when you see the head-on shot. So the Raiders, Whiten. He looks like he's in a bit of a mood today, Jack Whiten. Walford, augurs well for this game to go right down to the wire. The big-name players are, are having a crack here, getting involved. Wolford, short side, double touch, White and forward oh. to Hopawani. Gee, the execution there on their left side, the right hand defence, they obviously think they can get the numbers down there, but Jack White and a couple of forced passes, one tip on, and this time a forward pass. Yeah, well, they had that one earlier, didn't they, Block, when he threw it over the sideline, coming out of their own end between him and Hudson Young, but they obviously seen. Something there they like. They've been there a lot already. They were there. That's the third time they went down there. That's it. So the pass was was okay. They were away. So they, they like something on the right hand side of uh, of Melbourne's defence there on that short side. Wait there, Bex. Thirty away from the Melbourne line. The scrum one, and Munster will take a run. Second game for you this afternoon. We are off to the clash of the Knights and the Bulldogs. The, uh, the rampant Newcastle Knights. Now King. Passing there. We'll teach it over the top. That slows it down. That uh, restricts Harry Grant's opportunity to run. Now Asa for Solomona. Good tackle by Young and Wolford. Grants. Set restart. A bit unlucky there, Cameron, to be pinged. It didn't seem like any unusual length of time. Munster with the ball. There's the Munster dummy. You know it's coming. It's like a Steve Smith or Marcus Lubbershane leave. It's exaggerated. But very effective. Grant, they take the charge. Asifa Solomona to Grant. Great pick up Hughes. What a pass over the top. Seve. They go. Oh, he's got it down. They almost mucked it up. Smith and Seve almost collided. But Marion Seve recovered. It was like a wedge between defenders. Well, bigger safer since he's come on. He's been causing havoc. This time he gets the offload. We've seen a couple of times here in this set of six. The storm. Thought they were a little bit quicker. Around the ruck. Here's the offload over the top. Harry Grant does well. But this is the money ball. It was a beautiful pick up there from Hughes. Seve looks like he's not going to score. There's three in the tackle. Somehow he gets the football down. But you just got the feeling. The Melbourne Storm, once they've got themselves into the game here, after a slow start, Canberra had all the ball. And what a try. Great strength shown. Well, they're still down on the possession count. They've only had seven sets uh, completed to Canberra's 11, but that early defence gave them a lot of confidence. So they, they, Canberra are all over them, and they, they were able to hold Canberra out. And over the last 10 minutes, once the ball has got into their hands and possession's evened up, you saw Munster make a half break just before that try. Their big guns are starting to feel like they've got some control about this game. Just his fifth game for the year. Uh, in the NRL for Marion Seve scoring that try. Asa for Solomona. What about off the bench? There are three in the tackle and he gets it offload. There's yeah, got to be space somewhere, isn't yeah, there? You mentioned a little bit earlier where you're tackling. He's genius at using his bumper bars too, yeah. where he puts his arms. There's not much target there. Gets his arms free, passes over the top. And that's a brilliant try there from Melbourne. Well in front now. Meany was always going to hit the upright. So one from two. Uh, we are 11 minutes away from halftime. Melbourne 10, Raiders 2.
The storm is stoked to have Jerome Hughes back from an ankle injury today. Young Jonah Pezza did a solid job filling in at half-back last week, but there's nothing quite like the presence of Hughes, as we saw with that ball that sent Marion Seve over. He comfortably leads the team with now 18 try assists and 19 line break assists, which is more than what he recorded last season. He had a bit of a slow start to the year, but has really clicked into Kia, recording 13 try assists in eight games, including four alone in his last appearance before today, and provides a peach to a pass for that try. Pitch of a pass, that's well put, Darcy. He just knew he had to get it out there, had to just by any means. And the fact that it was on the bounce didn't matter, it just had to get there. So Melbourne, eight points up. As we told you earlier, the halftime lead is has proven critical to matches between these two sides. There's a penalty. It's a bit of a roll here for Melbourne. Yeah, he's got a great awareness of the game, hasn't he? Harry Grant knows when to go. As I mentioned, the pace have really picked up for the Melbourne Storm. And the Raiders are going, doing it tough to go with them at the moment. I know it goes with possession, but they're doing things a lot quicker. It was a bit tense early. Both teams, they were feeling each other out. It, it had, like I said, it had that finals feel. It was physical, but with possession and points, Melbourne have just started to play with a lot more confidence they've got their number one hooker on the field now it's probably good he didn't have to chew up all that defense early in the in the game but they've lost the ball now force an error out of Tottenham Pia. are they listing his teammates are they are they saying challenge and they are they've they've taken his word got a captain's challenge Ben whoever had lost no stripping action Tottenham Pia, who had a drop ball earlier in the game but wasn't blowing up about it but this time he was I think he might win this one. Is there a hand on the ball there? A little bit of a flick from Timiko. Yeah, I think it's one Matt of those. Matt Timiko is just leaving the tackle. Yeah. And the small player loses possession of the ball. Ooh. Yeah. Challenge uns unsuccessful. So he sold it well to Timiko because he's he's go looking go away. Like I'm not watching it, so I can't possibly be. Well, the other thing with the bunker there, they have one look at it. Yeah. They generally have 12. <laughs> Or you think they get paid by the look, do you? <laughs> so that's it. There's the challenge gone for Melbourne. Fried for the afternoon. They're always hard when the player's got his arm stuck in there. You know, they rule that it's, it's a collision and you've got to control the ball. But tough call. I think if he didn't drop the ball earlier, he might have accepted the decision, but he's a little on top because he's already got one drop today. So he... He, he's forced them to roll the dice there. So it's two mistakes next to young Tottenham Apia now. Gula, good front rower. Always has impact off the bench. Emre Gula, one of Ricky's men. He loves him. Now Trevelyan into the team again this week. Only his third NRL start. Whiten. And fancy taking on that Melbourne Storm right. That's a young... Wilson and Jerome in the tackle there. Now for Horsburgh. Oh, he was solo. He's just changing his angle. Grant a good tackle with King. Last tackle, Canberra. Fogarty is King. He'll get it between the posts. And caught on the full by Hughes. And Hughes off and running. Tell you what was rare about that kick. It went over the line but under the crossbar, did it not? It, you don't often see that. That's the way it appeared. News looks like he knew exactly where he was placed there. That's what I'm saying about the up-tempo here of the Melbourne Storm. They want to get on with the game quickly. Here they come again. There's a move on the field. So he's certainly gone to his bench. Only uh, Tipai Moroa not seeing football in his first half for Melbourne. Yeah, he's had a couple of very good runs for Melbourne. Is Grant Munster across? That's for Solomona. Three and four. Defenders pulled in there. Grant Hughes right up to the line. Katoa through the Roman tackle. Now Remus Smith. Canberra desperate. They don't get the job done. Remus Smith over. There's a shake there, there's a little bit of something on Remus after he scored there. 
Melbourne lodging a protest. We may have to watch a replay just to see what happened there. Smith scores the try, or did he lose it? I mean, the shake of the head is very deceptive here. I think they might be saying one of the Raiders players kicked out of the ball as he's put it down. But great ball there to Katawa. Gets it on to Smith. He had to do a fair bit of work here. He's got three across scene. Carvo gets up, gets it down pretty easy by the looks. Okay, let's watch for the stray boot blocker of this replay. Melbourne celebrating their third try. Yeah, good play there by Katoa. As you said, he had plenty to do here. I think he might have thrown a boot out the tap, well, just before he scores. Yeah, he wasn't happy about something. As soon as he scored, he got up and... Well, here it is here. It's a trip. Watch the boot go out. There oh, you go. yeah. Yeah. But he's quite entitled to get up and play on yeah. there. Two of the Canberra Raiders went over the top. Of Smith. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a trip. <laughs> Might end up in the bin, Rapana, for this. Well, Boker has seen it. It's one of those ones that'll be definitely picked up by the match review committee and there'll be some sort of charge, but whether they take any action in game. <laughs> I've never seen a, seen a bloke shake his head more than Reva Smith after that. I like the way they play happy. players' numbers at the line, players in motion. I think the Raiders, since they've had a lot, not that much possession, have gone a little bit one out. That's not the story with the Storm. And Amidi having hit the post once, this time shaves it on the good side. Melbourne jump clear here, leading 16-2. Well, that's a bit strange for me. If, if he's in the act of trying to score a try there, and he's used his feet to stop him and let the cover cross and get him. And I'm surprised there's not more about that. He used to get sent off once for a trip, didn't he? Did, he did. did. Trip uh, was, yeah. yeah. I was at a game years ago. Manly had two players sent off for trips in the same game. Graham Eady and John Gibbs, the halfback. They both sent off for tripping. Manly and Souths at Brookvale. They went to the judiciary together. <laughs> Go to New South Wales Rugby League Club, get on the drink, on the one the night. <laughs> Have a little mixed grill. Schnitzel, then have a judiciary hearing to go back down and have another drink. <laughs> back in the day, 165 Phillips Street in Sydney, the judiciary. I got a couple of weeks off, for being, you, yeah. Yeah, for being honest. How do you find yourself, son? Guilty, I say. <laughs> now, Eisenhuth with the ball. Those were the days. So, Melbourne with it. Now King, now Hughes on the spin. Five minutes away from half time. Canberra cannot let this scoreline get any worse than this. And if they could conjure some points of their own, that would certainly help. But just can't be allowed to get outside of 14. The difference. What about this ball? Rapid and with it. And uh, Seve goes over his head. Great set after points. You made the opposition player to me meter out from their own line. Tackle two already. And they just hang on there too. Yeah. It's a great tackle by Hawes, but when Mooney nearly went straight through. Well, I'll say this. I've been quoting how important the halftime lead is. The only time in Victoria where the team trailing at halftime has come back to win was in 2019. You know the margin, Canberra trailed by? 14. They came back in 2019, 14 down to win. Other than that, it's the halftime leaders have always won. Coates is with the ball. That is a big win on the set. Melbourne have Canberra playing the ball one metre out from their line. Melbourne have the ball five metres short of halfway. Now Harry Green. That's for Solomona. Picking out Solo to run it there. Grant will take off. Then link up with Munster. They get right up over the advantage line. King. Fourth tackle. Melbourne. 20 out. Hughes. Left side. Munster. Triple pump. Triple pump. Goes back inside. Grant. Eisenhuth. Options cut out there for Tom. They are still a chance though, Melbourne, right side, lovely jig, Hughes to Grant, will kick for the corner, here comes Smith, flying up, knocked it back, play on I reckon, Seve caught, 
Tackle count restarts. Harry Grant, then Hughes, Munster, the arrow. You've got it quite wrong, Munster calling it. Tottenham and Pia stay out, he's almost pushing him out wider. Grant now, Munster, Tottenham and Pia. Every minute short of the line. Two and a half away from the break. Grant for Burrow. It's a set restart as well. Six again for Marcus out there. Top Watch how quickly he yeah. wants to get on with it here. Wait. Let's go, boys. Big They're two minutes. Thump. Sorry, Block. Big two minutes for Canberra. That's a big one there. It's, it's offside Marcus, and Grant is trying to score. It's the Marcus that stop him from scoring, and you only get set restart. Now Grant with it. Right side, Munster. <laughs> <laughs> he telegraphed that play, Nelson. I want you around the back of me. Here's Grant. There's Hughes. Flat runner, Katoa. He has uh, gone head first to the try line. No self-preservation whatsoever. I'll cut. I'll cut knees in the head if it means scoring four. Yeah, he had a courageous line there, didn't he? Didn't get it quite right, but his momentum got him over the line. Same as last try. They've attacked the left edge of the Canberra Raiders and they've come up front. Beautiful ball here by Hughes. Just slowed up, put it on his chest. He lost his feet, but too much momentum. That's a big blow for the Raiders. At this stage of the game, they had all the running early and the Storm have come back in the last 20 minutes and put 20 points, probably got to be 22 on the board. Yeah, they've been relentless. So I'll go right back to the, the kick downfield there from the Canberra Raiders when Meany got the football and ran it back. Second tackle though on the halfway line. And they just rolled. Got a couple of sixes, six agains. But that's a great try there for Katoa. Put it down to the, the play the ball just before it. There's a couple of players left on the ground. Yep. from the Canberra Raiders and used geez made a difference going at the line slowed down as you said Katoa does the rest what a performance oh, not a good strike at all from Meadey right across the face but 20 points to two three converted tries seconds on the clock to end a pretty good half half of work for Melbourne he's done his job for him Nelson to say for Solomonas since he's been on he's just broke in the middle of the Canberra defence down. That was a quick play the ball you were talking about, Block. And his other big man on the edge, Katawa, comes off the back of it and straight over the top of the Raiders' defence. If Melbourne got any sort of opportunity, and I don't think Melbourne, the Canberra's going to go short, but if Melbourne got any chance, they're taking the two point shot here. And they need a couple of big carries to get them up inside Canberra's half. King on play one coming back. Or do they have something even more daring up their sleeve before half time? Did they try a little kick and chase play? The area to play it. This will be the one they have to do it. Grant on the scoop. Now Munster. Munster. Mudding freely. What a pass to Tottenham Appear. And there's the half time siren. So no further play. But the Melbourne fans are smiling here. The battle of fourth and fifth, and fourth is well and truly on top. Melbourne looking sharp and in a try scoring mood. Half time, Melbourne 20, Canberra 2. Storm coming back for the second half. Great cameo from Nelson in that first half. Jerome Hughes through the, uh, the tunnel. It's a very narrow opening for them. They lead by 18. Block, what about Nelson? Yeah, well, they had plenty of contributors in that first half, the Melbourne Storm, but the game changed on the back of this bloke coming on. He's a handful. You've got to try and put him on the ground and make him get off the ground. They haven't been able to do it. And throw in Harry Grant while you're there. Those two started off the bench here this afternoon. Canberra had all the running early, but it's been those two players that have really put the Canberra Raiders under pressure. I expect exactly the same thing from the second half from the big man. We'll show you a live ladder so shortly back. just to highlight just how important this is for Canberra and how their poor points differential impacts. Second half is underway. Melbourne with a footy. Canberra scored the first points of the day and then it has been 
all at Melbourne on the board since. And Andrew, you know the other thing about bigger sofa? You have a look at the impact that he has. He only's had six runs, yeah. but it's the way that he runs the football that puts the pressure on the opposition. So it's 21 minutes to get Harry Grant into the game. Is it a carry there? King. It's an offload to the arrow. Pretty sure Craig Bellamy will find out of Darcy McDonald, but I'm pretty sure Craig Bellamy, one of the instructions would be to not give Canberra a look in, not give them a sniff at all, which means uh, a rousing first five or ten minutes of the second half. Rapana on the catch. And, uh, tackled on the 20 meter line. This is the live ladder with Melbourne in front here and wins already this week in Penrith, Brisbane, Warriors, Cronulla, South, they've all won. Cowboys have had the bye. Canberra would drop to sixth on the back of defeat here. So all around them winning. And uh, Canberra would be the Lone Ranger in the top eight uh, not to win. Newcastle still to play later this afternoon against the Bulldogs. It's going to be interesting to see the Canberra Raiders if they can come back. They'll be under a lot of fatigue, a lot of defence after the first 15, 20 minutes. And it was all the Melbourne Storm, so try and move that ball around, move the defensive line around a little bit. One out play won't, won't cut it against this Melbourne side this afternoon. Have been set, uh, Stephen, just 31 metres made there from Canberra, I suppose. Credit also to Melbourne, switched on. On an appeal with ball. the ball. Grants. Meaning. Back as far as the 40. Now Grant, the scoop up, and they're moving. Munster. There's 20 metres just bitten off just like that. And quickly Grant gets the moving with that one headed scoop. We set a field for Hughes. And cross, Meany, Seve, one of the try scorers from the first half. They've had some joy down the right side with four pointers. Hughes, bomb on the run. A little bit of skew. Uh, no one playing at it for Canberra. They've still got it. Hughes, a second kick. Well done, Solo there. Snatching that one. Three minutes into the second half. Let's go down to the sideline. Darcy, what was said at halftime? Well, Storm coach Craig Bellamy was really happy with the start, especially how they're matching the Raiders physically, but he said they need to cut out the errors. As for the Raiders, Ricky Stewart, he wants to see his side be more aggressive in defence, finish their sets, which they haven't done there, and stay in the grind of the game. Yeah, well, that's cursed. Contrick absolutely having himself to blame there. That hurts. But it's more if you don't get through the next set. When you're the coach and you've just had the halftime address, Anthony, and then second set and a drop ball like that, how, how do you keep the emotion in check? Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> you hope the camera's not put on you. No, no, that, that's, that's, a, that's the best way. Yeah. <laughs> just just uh, what, someone's not watching you, but it, it's, uh, it's a big blow for the Raiders. Melbourne have come back out where they've left off. They rolled them down the other end of the field, 80 metres, and now they've got the ball back. And look out. Maybe goes around the outside of Strange. Tackled by White. Four minutes into the second half. Four tries to zero. This afternoon set restart. Ruck infringement. Now the ball with Grant. They mainly need one. Munster. And support. Trailing through on his outside at a rate of knots. Whitehead slow to release. Grant and King in front of the posts. Now Harry Grant, oh, Nelson puts it down, and that was really soft. I, I know uh, Young got underneath him, but it wasn't like a big hit. It was just Nelson, poor carry. Yeah, it looked like he was a little bit surprised to get the ball there. He's caught a little bit flat-footed. Nelson, Nelson's at his most dangerous when he winds up and comes onto the ball. I would have thought it was going to go at the back there. Yeah, I'm with you, Block. I, I think he was a decoy, but... Harry Grant threw it straight into his tummy and it come out. It's an odd one where the arrow got uh, caught up and Whitehead certainly played up to it. He didn't want to try and bring the ball back because he might drop it. You can see Whitehead, there's no way he can bring that back to his body, so he just kept it pressing yeah. against the arrow and gets a penalty as well. Cameron, you Hold, Milky! Over play, Elliot Whitehead. 
Fogarty, centre field, Gula. Trevelyan, Solo, nice low tackle front on by Katoa. Camera 35 from the Melbourne line. First point so critical. Fogarty, Whitehead, Timikol on the outside, almost of uh, Tonga Papia. Now Kotrick relieved that no points came after his drop ball. Here's Horsburgh. Can pop a pass, but not on this occasion. Last tackle. Boy, do they need something here. Fogarty, they're going to run it. Whiten, left foot stab. Meany's got it covered. It's set up for him. Meany read it all the way across field and was perfectly positioned. So six gone, second half. No change. Yes, ahead of Melbourne, Penrith, Brisbane, Warriors all winning. Just got to get a little bit of line speed back to Canberra Raiders. Just have a look how far they're able to run there. There's a perfect example. Just got to get off their line a little bit quicker here. I know they'd be under fatigue. It's only the start of the second half here. Hughes. Quickly along there on the edge. Last tackle it is. Yep, going Katoa. On that right edge for Melbourne. Hughes is high ball. Rapper underneath it. Rapida so often the barometer for the enthusiasm of Canberra. That ball is another coaching moment, Anthony. You're watching in the box, the fullback offloads. You hope the Canberra's out on you. That's the Canberra's out on you. Intercept then for King. Ricky, yeah, now the camera fights him. This is tense. Hughes, Munster, and the long Liero. John Mapia, stop passing. Wrestling to within a metre of the line. Raiders self imploded there with a couple of errors. Melbourne tried to do the same. Hughes with the ball. And plenty of Canberra traffic. There's a settle down call from all of them there. Let's get our shape. Let's get our, our plan back on track. Once to us for Solomon. Tips it on. King. And then he tries to pass. And then gets it back. Hughes didn't get the ball. They've said it went back. So play on for Melbourne, that's contentious. Asifa Solomon went off the mark. Grant passes to Munster, lovely stepping. And they caught in the tackle of Trevelyan. Grant, there's the scoop. Grant to Liero. He scores, I think that's the goal line. He's got it over one of the three, and Melbourne have got their fifth try. Yeah. Melbourne have come straight down the middle again with Harry Grant. You said it before, Block, since he's been on, he's picked up the tempo. Here's his <laughs> nightmare, you call it, Vossi, for the coach. Both passes, had two goes. He nearly scored there himself, King. This was a little bit controversial, I thought. Maybe the tackle was over, but they let Nelson get in there and steal it back off him, and then Grant feels the speed of the ruck the way he wants it straight out hits Larrero. that's easy easy for the storm yeah what about the speed of the play the ball for Munster too yeah. the, the skill of Harry Grant unbelievable the arrow he looks up Fogarty's in front of him he thinks oh well there's a halfback there three in I'll take him on and I just mentioned a little bit earlier too in the game it just looks to me like the storm are playing up tempo football always with support they're quick at a dummy half. And they're the first scorers of the second half. Yeah, with respect to the Canberra dummy halves, Grant is playing them off a break here, isn't he? The, what, the, the, the dynamic he brings, and he is one of the best in the comp. He's an Australian hooker. But you are seeing a noticeable difference there between the dummy half play of the two sides. And 26 to 2, Melbourne over Canberra. This has been quite the defining season for Trent Liero. He knew coming into it there were a few spots up for grabs in the pack and he set out to make one of them his own. He turned up to pre-season in tip-top shape. In fact, he won the squad's first yo-yo test of the summer. Last year, he was playing 20 or so minutes off the bench, but this year, he's not only nailed down one of those starting spots, but he's played every game of the season and the full 80 minutes in all but two. A terrific effort from a guy that doesn't get many headlines, but just goes about his work with no fuss. And boys, a big boost for the Raiders. Josh Papali was about to get in just injected into the game then. They really need a, a big stint from Papali'i. So five tries on the board now. 
Well, the arrow just his second try of the season and the sixth of his career. Josh move! Oh, and that's what happens when you get Munster and Hughes running the ball. They play the ball quicker than anyone, and Harry Grant works off the and back together. of that. It makes the storm very dangerous. Oh, it's a big three right there. And a big four if Puppenhausen comes back into the mix. Oh, he is Ryan Pappenhausen. Two games into his comeback from a year off, basically. Hughes, Munster, Meany, Raiders on the rack here. Fine, man, get up! Nice tackle, Melbourne, oh, another set for them. Grant to Munster. Bob from 25 metres out to the corner. There'll be a competition for the ball. Smith allowed to get to it. Popped up. Hopper Wadi has it for the Raiders. Yeah, not a real bad result there for the, the Melbourne Storm to put him in a corner now. Watch him bridge up. A lot of one out running here from the Canberra Raiders under fatigue. What's this set here? They need a couple of good runs here, Canberra. Please, Harry, move. Wait. I'll go to you. Yeah, Contract with it. Again, Canberra's four and against. Copying an absolute battering at 26 to 2. Here's Trevelyan running at a WF. Good run. That's been touched by Melbourne. Then Grant juggled it and retained possession. But bad from Trevelyan. That's going to come off for Canberra. Hughes with the ball. Young finished him off there. Grant. Monster kicks on play two. Chasing through. Maybe he's going to win the race. No! Fogarty. In a photo finish, a vital touch there. Well, that just shows the brilliance. That's a deliberate kick there for Meany, just hovering around the middle third of the field. Early in the tackle count. Ooh, they're going to say Meany got the first touch. Yeah, got a little hand to it. Bunker, quick review. And back to the 20 metre line. It was still a great save by Fogarty. Yeah, brilliant save. Great touch by Ponga. Oh, sorry by Munster to see oh, that and they're right. playing with a lot of confidence now oh, the storm all the tr uh, the tricks are coming out of the bag yeah, Caleb Ponga, Cameron Munster they're all on show on this Sunday afternoon on Fox League how lucky are we to have the superstars of our game fighting fit which hasn't always been the case with uh, Kalen in particular well I reckon they would have got a fair rev up after last week's defeat against the Panthers and they've responded well here this afternoon. I know it's not the same opposition, but they're playing for keeps, Melbourne. Been aggressive in their defence. Raiders 40 metres away from the line. Horsburgh and uh, Fogarty. Whiten able to offload for Strange. His first game. Been a pretty tough afternoon. Canberra 25 away. Whiten. Set restart for the... Rugged fridge, but they all stopped saying, Grant, what are you going to do here, sir? They almost referee him. Yes, that's right. I challenged the referee to come up with a call there. Tarpany back on for Canberra. Comeback has to start here for the Raiders. Plenty of time. Trevelyan, Bubbly with it. Turn, but can't pass. Grant's the last tackler. Trevelyan now front of the post for Fogarty got the best ball switch young kicks he's got teammates in front of him that was a very uh, ambitious play you've got to say that's almost like last five minute play not 27 to go play yeah exactly they don't need that off the back row at that stage the scoreboard's got into their head and that's why you see they're trying to pass the ball and trying to pass the ball coming out of their own end when it's not there and back row is kicking on tackle three they've lost a bit of contact with the mate with the match here emotionally the raiders observation of uh of anthony griffin i think it's spot on there i bet you that was horseback yep <laughs> trying to make a statement tefai moiroa on the run now grant on the meaty look at this oh straight down the highway granting support that's amazing that is that is drag racing the green light comes on and bam they took off well it's great play there by harry grant not just resting on his laurels yeah passes the ball from dummy half stays alive mean he's starting to cause problems we were saying about the raiders defense not being great through the middle and the amount of yards 
that Melbourne are now be looking to eat up. Meany goes straight through. Grant stays alive back on the inside there. And that is a great Melbourne Storm try. Look at that. They can't retreat quick enough and get back up. Horsburgh with the chase again. And Harry Grant finishes it off. What a try. Well, it's admirable what he was trying to do there, Horsburgh, but it's symptomatic of what we were talking about on the road as they're one out with the ball, looking for kicks and tricks with the ball, and he's one out defensively trying to make a difference there. And they get a little bit of room down the middle, Meany. Beautiful ball back on the inside for Grant. He's been brilliant since he's come onto the field, and they put him away with that try. A career best nine tries of the season. Boy, is he having a run lately. Harry Grant, big smile on the face. Over he goes. There's a tiny little story too about some of the Melbourne boys, just to give them a real rap. And these sort of stories don't get publicity. But Friday in Sydney, there is a, a fundraiser for Ronald McDonald House, and it's the day off for Melbourne. Jerome Hughes, Cameron Munster, Harry Grant, all attend, and then fly back to Melbourne. Now, I thought it was a really a, 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 such a positive contribution. Well done to the fellas for doing that, and greatly appreciated by the charity. Darcy on the sideline at 32 to 2. A Harry Grant try was almost a sure thing in this game, given his run of form lately. He only scored two tries in his first 14 games of the season, but now he's scored seven in his last eight appearances. As you touched on, Bossy, his season total of nine tries is a career high, and when he's not scoring, he's setting them up. He sits third in the team for try assists, and it's pretty impressive that he has such an impact on the attack, given he's also so busy in defence. He averages 41 tackles a game, and that's a career high as well. So Harry Grant getting through a mountain of work on both sides oh, of the ball. What a catch! Nick Meany, but silly bit of honest, taking a screamer. <laughs> Full-blooded pull shot. <laughs> you don't see that often for a kickoff. A man in what you'd call sort of no man's land. Intercepting a ball that's meant to go down to the goal line. <laughs> that's an amazing catch. Melbourne with a ball. Munster, the arrow. Well, this could end up anywhere if, if Melbourne get a lot of possession. 32 to 2. Tottenham appear. The Raiders' points differential is an absolute write-off. Munster, Hughes there. Goes flat and short. Katoa. Raiders as ragged as we've seen them this year now. Harry Grant, last tackle. Munster, kick, flying through. The ball's loose. Canberra have it. They're going to say... Yeah, knock on by Coates. Oh, that's a set, that. <laughs> Great set, wasn't it? Well, they're just playing at a different speed, aren't they? The Melbourne Storm. I mentioned a couple of times, up they? A little bit disappointing last week. Didn't have their full complement of players on the field. Hughes has made a huge difference. But they're playing for keeps. The speed of the game of this Melbourne Storm. Something to behold. And they're hungry in defence block as well. Both sides of the ball. Line speed, contact. They've got a real pride in their defence today that probably hasn't been there for a couple of weeks. So they points to virtual two. Melbourne heading into this round. The Warriors were 40 to the good of them and two competition points ahead. But if Melbourne were to draw level with Warriors, this, this boost they're getting today could be uh, quite influential on it. The way things could play out if we ended up with Penrith 1, Brisbane 2. Might not play Penrith first. Well, there's all those things at play here. Fogarty, 30 metres out. Bomb right to the corner. Coates is with it. So a good recovery from Canberra. That uh, doesn't reap any points. Just have a look at the eagerness of the, of the Melbourne Storm players. Everyone putting their hand up. Everyone doing their job. Been a great team effort. And the outside backs now at the back end of their, their half, getting in and going to work. That's Christian Welsh, who started the try scoring oh, the rush today. Back on the field. Back for Jerome Hughes, kicking from inside the 40. Long. How risky will the passing be here? Hopawati will just take the run. Long way back from here with 21 to go. Whiten on for Rapana. 
Canberra who have their next two games back in Canberra against the Bulldogs and the Broncos. They finish away in round 27 to Cronulla. But uh, you're not locking them in for any of those games at this point. On this form, the cross Whiten and then put down by Tinnikol. He's trying to say that Coates may have touched it before it got to him. All is passed. There you go. Not challengeable, says referee Atkins. You're in the process of passing. No, we've ruled a forward pass. There you go. So he's ruled that he's passing the ball forward, Timmy Co. So there can be no challenge. Right or wrong, doesn't matter. That's that's the protocol. And Melbourne will have the ball on halfway, and you can see moving all the troops to the open side here. Tell you what, they've, they've jammed on the outside pretty well here. The Melbourne Storm this afternoon. Yeah. Clock off. I just Hold. defended better than them, haven't they? Break. As you said before, block a more energy. Ah, let go now! Go one. In the campus yeah. half on this set already. King. Oh, block this point. He's been one of the workers, the team ethic. Ethic here. Jack King's been uh, top of the hit ups today for Melbourne. Go two. Harry Grant. Hughes right up to the line for Welsh. I use the word ragged again. The Raiders. Harry Grant, they're not coming up as a line. Katoa rests the geese way over the line. Rapana. He's either lost it possibly four, even. I've got a no try. Can we please review grounding and whether it's lost or if it gets to the ground? As he lost it on the way down here, there's three in the tackle again here from the Canberra Raiders. Rapana over the top. Does he lose the ball on the way down as he's trying to get it? I think he's held up for sure. Does he keep possession or does it get, get stripped from Rapana? I've got to say, all three Canberra defenders stripped the ball there. Is that, a, is that a new record? I think all three of them, which they're allowed to do in the try scoring situation. But there's that many Canberra hands on the ball. Eli Katoa gets to the goal line but is held up. We have a decision. A lot of hands around that ball blocker. Look at that replay. Trying to decipher who's who. Well, I'll get to play the ball by the sound of that. On the line, tackle four. They will. Yeah. This is where Munster comes into his own, normally on the, on the left. Up. Mark her up. They might just have a play set, Joseph ready to go. Wait, 32 oh. to 2. Here's Harry Grant. There is Jerome Hughes. Up looms Munster, just dumps it off. And an obstruction play. So King got it wrong there for Melbourne. That's a. Bit of an anti climax, all of that. Brilliant work again to get the ball to Katara on that uh, near try that was held up by Harry Grant. Walker, he, he got the quick play the ball again and tore him to shreds. We see the uh, obstruction there, yeah, no question about that. Kings run straight in to his opposite there, opposite player. Whiten on to wrap it up, look promising. Oh, tackle by Sebe. Oh, Jordan almost playing the ball at an angle. Hudson Young here for the Raiders. So for Canberra, they've considered the most second half points of any team in the competition this year, which doesn't all go well for the last 18 and a half minutes. Fogarty to Whiten, they had three on two. Tom Pia did a good job. Trevelyan. Christian. Close to the ruck with Mariota oh, on the field. Please. Big fella. I'll go for. Early days of his first great career. Papali'i off. Tarpani. Oh, One more support. Not there. Oh. Now on the play, the ball. Trevelyan to Whiten. To oh, what a boost. He didn't get a boot to it, did he? He dropped the ball. He's in front. They continued on from there. The way I saw it was white. Oh, you're talking about bounce the ball. Speak to me at yeah, adult level. Yeah, sorry. I just felt it was really light. Yeah, sorry. There he is. Whiten just drops it. Oh. It's an ugly looking kick, that. If you get a if you get a count that as a kick. I'm talking about the pitch. Yeah, I'm not sure he got his foot to this, did he? No, I think he's just dropped it. That's what I thought. He just then it's all over the joint after that. I think the soccer markings have got them all confused, Anthony. 
What's that? Play? This is very much like an old English ground. You would have done this on kangaroo okay, tours, wouldn't you? You turn up at those grounds and they don't dare paint over the football mark. Oh, never. <laughs> so they're all there out on the field. You're just borrowing the ground for the day in some cases. Big Nelson back out there for the last 17 minutes. One start. Yeah, Tottenham to pee up. The players putting their hands up there, trying to be, make themselves invisible. Over halfway, fans enjoying it. Big crowd too at Amy Park. As for Solomona. We have Canterbury and the Newcastle Knights next up here on Fox League on the Sunday ticket. Sunday night with Matty Johns tonight. Kick through. Chases again. Hopawadi is able to take it dead. They've kicked in and behind both of their wingers, haven't they? Here this afternoon, the Melbourne Storm early in the tackle count. Obviously, I think they might get them for, for pace. There's a kick again. The race is on. Rapana gets back there along with Hopawade. Hughes and, and Munster, they know Rapana's up in the line for the first three or four tackles. So, last couple of sets. They've said, OK, if you're going to be up there, we're putting it in behind you. And Stelly resulted in two tries. And then the short drop out, White, and couldn't get it. But Tucker's having a really good game for Melbourne today. He's, uh, he's got numbers in all the right categories. Eli Katoa. He's on to Asifa Solomona. I think they're in a ruthless mood here this afternoon, the Storm. 32 to 2 is ruthless enough. And then Tepai Moroa. Spinning over the goal line. Back to the 10. He'll go. So what I'm saying, the only try he scored for Melbourne on the very next hit up off the kickoff, he did his shoulder. So that's a moment for Tepai Moiroa in his time with Melbourne. Now Hughes back for Katoa. Good tackle, Trevelyan. And Hudson Young there. Now Harry Grant, white ball, good. Munster, step, Munster is it. Munster all his own there. 40, not beyond them, 50 in their sights perhaps. They've been trying to match their way through the front door. They've been doing it all day. Melbourne, they've had a couple of tries just by barge overs. This time they set up the two front rowers and go out the back. They drag in the tight defence. Munster gets one on one with the middle forward there, and that's like Shallon Peas for him. He's been busy all day without getting a lot of joy block, but they just made it look too easy there, and that's a wrap for the, the patience of the Melbourne Storm and the direction of their attack. There's some easy points coming their way now. You always look at the width of the pass and how perfect it is. I know we've yeah. been waxing on lyrical about Harry Grant, but you watch the pass. It beats the first four defenders, and it's perfectly weighted. Munster throws the dummy on the outside, comes off his left foot. Must be enormously strong. Here's the pass. Look at this. Boom. That beats four defenders. Show and go. A little bit of an over chase. Yeah. Munster picks it. Can't stop him that close to the line. You can't. It's a brilliant pass, and, and the fact that the width of that pass stretches that middle defence so much, they've got to over chase then, and Munster's foot works. Too good for them. And Levy adds another two to an impressive tally on the scoreboard. 38-2. We're less than a month out from the finals. You're starting to think about grand final day in both the NRL and NRLW. Tickets are on sale now. The biggest day and night of the year in rugby league. Dazzling moment in history for both the NRL and NRLW. Tickets on sale now. You can buy early and save at nrl.com slash tickets. Well, you know the great thing about this performance from Melbourne, it would be hard to really pick a standout player. It's been a wonderful team effort. Short kick off in there. It's a short drop out, short kick off not working. Melbourne have uh, Canberra all but down and out here. 48 to 2. We saw Parramatta concede 50 there on Friday night at the Gabba. There's another team, another finals hope. Raiders maybe looking at a, a similar scoreline here. That's for Solomona. This is where momentum has to be building. 
the right time of the year, isn't it? Welsh on the Liero. As I say, if Melbourne keep winning and Warriors just put a foot wrong, Melbourne on the four and against could put themselves ahead of the Warriors. Seba, they got a little drop ball there. He went over the top ball. Last tackle it was. Strange tackle there by Strange. <laughs> Wasn't it? Just dived at his ankles. Well, it's Did you see that? Old school. You slip over. Move, Christian! This time, hold! So, Carillion on to Whitehead. Nelson, move! Hold! Wait! Hold! Hold! Oh. is now with Papalihi. Started keen enough, and in fact, you, you forget about it. They did score the first points, was the penalty goal, and that's been all there is here. For the Raiders, but they started as we expected. Tarpani, Bubbly, he wants it runs. He's strange with a ball. Good tackle. Seve got him. Wait. Right around the ankles in return. That hurt him as well. Raiders to Tarpani. Last tackle play. Something for the fans that have made their way here. Fogarty kick. Uh, not high. Just, oh, just, just a dab over the top. 38 to 2 down. Smith brings hey, it back. Jamal, oh, the, the Raiders oh. had a slow start to the year. They only won one oh, out of their first five and Jamal. then stuck ten wins in their in their next twelve games. This time of year for them though, they've got to go to oh. another level. You've got to have another Please. gear with a month to go until the playoffs. They're gonna get well beaten here today, but they go home and they get the Bulldogs and then the Broncos, and that's a perfect chance for them to, to find that gear now. They've got to go home and regroup and get a couple of good home wins, try and get their season going again. It's a storm up over halfway, quick exchange of passing. They're called forward from Welsh to Moiroa, so they don't get that one right there. You got away from the formula a little bit there. Welsh at the line. It was the right idea, the short pass. And ball's gone forward. Look at the message will go out from Billy Ake. Come on, boys, roll the sleeves up. Fox Sports Lab looking back now to see when Canberra were last kept trialless in a game. Would, would 10 years sound right? 10 years, 2013. Not scoring a try. Uh, the Raiders. By the way, I was just thinking in the run of play there, we've been watching Ethan Strange and a bit of a flashback. Just just probably to give some context to Ethan. At the end of the day, it's not gone the way he would have hoped. Just white and runs the ball. Nathan Cleary made his debut against Melbourne at Amy Park. Anthony, might have had something to do with it. He did. We came down to Amy Park and off a couple of wins, I think, with the uh, Panthers at the time. And I think he was only 18, Nathan. Yeah. And uh, thought ready. What an assignment. <laughs> it was an assignment. We got our, our backsides kicked that night, but it was it, even in that game, we were under the pump, but you could see he was ready for that level and he, he grabbed onto it really quickly after that was yeah, we'll wonder if much. Let's see what Canberra do in this set with nine and a half to go. Fogarty, cross, not a good ball. It's picked the ball. Look at Nelson. Oh, that is a that is a big play that from the biggest man. Maybe the Southern Hemisphere, I'm not going to say the planet, I might have to live with that quote. Now the ball stripped away, and it's in bit as well. But what about Nelson Asifa Solomona running like the drover's dog to a tennis ball? Geez, you wouldn't want him to miss Q here chasing that hard. If he landed on you, wouldn't need a shovel. It shows you what it means to both teams. There were four or five Raiders there watching the ball, and Nelson come from about 10 meters back and you reckon you get in the footsteps <laughs> but it it really just shows you the mentality of both teams at the moment the Raiders are waiting for this game to finish Melbourne are having fun and want to want to put some more points on the board and now it's 13 on 12 Munster Liera I, I think you know, fullback gone try for coach maybe in the corner they'll expose something on the left side Welsh with the ball Offload Grant in front of the posts. A dummy, he backs himself. He's just a few meters away from the line. 48 to 2. Now Garlic Hughes floating it. Rita Smith. Caught. 
set restart again, inside to 10, and a high tackle. Canberra, it's, it's slipped right away from them here. I mean, points to see in, in absolutely inevitable now. Well, the mood they're in now, the Melbourne Storm, you don't want to be a man down. And you've got Grant and Hughes, Munster, those sort of guys. Defensive even strange. I don't think there was much wrong with that, to be honest, but they blew penalty. It looked dramatic. Uh, but no, Melbourne, it's, it's really in the hands of Hughes and Munster. Grant, what, what do they want to conjure up here? Munster. Back in, Tebai Moirala. Seven and a half to go, 38 to two. They're with 12 for the rest of the game. The Raiders, Hughes, fires it across. Remus Smith, now they've got all the left to work with. Meany, Hughes, short pass, Garlic. Good tackle, low down there by Wolford. Bubbly E over the top, they're trying to slow the play, the ball down. Long from W half. Munster thought they were offside. Fogarty does well. Finished off by Mariota. Oh, Determined there wait, from Campbell. Wait. Shutting down Munster. Now a settler. No, not a settler. Hughes got a kick. Ricochet. Play on. Tackle can restart. Grant got it back. Garlic with it. Floats it over the top. Liero offloaded. Meany change of direction. Change of direction again. Passes to Liero. Caught now. They've got to remember, they've got a full set here. Oh, and he's the first. Oh. Greg Bellamy saying, come on, let's get back. Munster, don't have to score every play. Well, shoes, they're looking to do it, though. Oh. Asifa, uh, Asifa Solomon. We've got no challenge left. Melbourne, won't be able to do anything about that. I don't think he knocked it on. The Melbourne players are claiming he didn't. I think he... Put his hand towards the ball, but I'm not sure he. Yeah. It's gone back, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, the challenge was burnt much earlier this afternoon. 38 to 2. Let's go, let's go. They really were looking to score in every single play there, Melbourne. <laughs> there wasn't one stock standard play to set up for the next. It was good defense by Canberra. Yeah. Chasing everywhere. Yeah. Raiders back with the ball. They have a second half field position as well, dominated by Melbourne. Seven tries on the board. The Canberra's points differential now a massive minus 110. They're in the top eight. Bottom four is typical tackle there by Tony Mapia. Wolford, Whitehead, Whiten keeps it going. Fogarty, one man down, trying to find space. Hopawadi, they're having a cracky camera. Now Strange with the ball, wriggled through, what a pass. Then a young came off the leg, play on Melbourne. Uh oh. Many comes back with it. The space on the left. Munster. He keeps it going. Yeah, they want to score for every play. Why not score off this one? On a zero tackle. Coates through the centre. Grant Hughes. Canberra can stop Melbourne scoring a try here. It'll be a minor miracle. Seve goes through. They won't stop that. Reddy races away to score. The ball movement is as if you've got to pay a fine if you get tackled with the ball. It's a compulsory pass at the moment. You're not allowed to die with the ball, as you say. And brilliant ball movement again the, by the Storm. There's the ball out the back by Hudson Young, throwing caution to the wind, and Melbourne get it back and go straight into attack mode. Hughes is just slowing down, trying to set up a play here, and the centre goes straight over the top of Wolford, meaning under the post. They've been on today, Melbourne, right from the start. They've built really well. Their key players, Grant, Munster and Hughes, have had a lot of ball, and they'll get a lot of confidence and a lot of momentum out of this win. Yeah, you can see the fatigue set in defensively. They've had to do a lot of tackles, haven't they? Yeah. The Canberra Raiders. It was Wolford who missed that tackle in the middle. Seve straight through. 
And positionally wise this afternoon, not only for that try, but positioned himself at the back meeting. He's been right on song. He's the man that gets a runaway try there. And the scoreboard ticks over again. 14 points of his own today. This for 16. Canberra with 12 men. Melbourne with a few more sets yet to uh, to crack 50. They'll be hungry for it. And there it is, another two. 44 to 2, and coming up here on Fox League, off to Newcastle. One of the form teams in the competition, the Knights, ready to go. They've got try scoring potential all over the park. Dominic Young and Caleb Ponga ready to go against the Bulldog side. As I said earlier, nothing to lose. Got a number of their big names on deck as well. So it should be highly entertaining at McDonald Jones Stadium this afternoon. And then into Sunday night with Benny Jobs here on Fox League before we roll into another week. Round 25 will kick off with a big game. The Cowboys and the Sharks Thursday night. Canberra again. Will they get a result? It's come through the legs, but the wrong way. Canberra by Ethan Stranger hits his hand. There you go. Goes off Ethan's hand first. And then Melbourne's knock on. She's not one thing's gone their way no. here, Lasavo. I know as good as Melbourne have played. Canberra can't take a trick. By the way, 18 years of age, but he will actually celebrate. It's been a big week for him because his uh, 19th birthday will come up uh, this week. Just a few days short. He's only three days away. So the debut will go down as 18 and 362 days. Block. Oh, you sorry. You don't need a lock. Just need a second half. Particularly the second half blocker. They were, even though the scoreboard was against them, they weren't too bad in the first half, but they just haven't come out of the sheds and looked in the game, the Raiders, whereas the Storm, they've built really well. They'll be desperate to put 50 on. That's who would offend Tom Mapia. They'd love to let Coach loose, wouldn't they? Not quite. Two and a bit to go. There's Coates with it. He's uh, actually scored try doubles his last couple of games here, but he's... He's got uh, zero on the sheet today. Grant taking off again. Tottenham will be a hit high. And here's another penalty to the goal. <laughs> oh dear. They're going to go close here, Melbourne. 44 to 2. Well, there's no doubt about that one. No. They might even save with four. So, hello. They're going to be down to 11. That's <laughs> to spread it away. Uh, <laughs> and what happened there? They got their false start. <laughs> Cameron's got a long way to run back to get back on side. Looks like he loves the game, doesn't it? Huh? Enjoying it. Well, I thought, yeah, he's off to the bed. Oh. There they with 11. So high with force against Timmy Cole. I said the soccer markings. Well, Canberra are now playing up to it with 11. And this, well, I said miracle if they don't score, they did score. But now it's an absolute miracle if they hold them off in this set. 13 v 11. And Munster with a tap. Wait. <laughs> I'll give him the stats. Give him his beat tap. He's, he's going full at it. Whiten's got him. Australian teammates. Extra 30 running meters there. Okay, how do you hang on here? Where do you find the space? You know that the, the right set has just gone. The fullback's not there. Where are they going to centralize their attack, Melbourne? Okay, Zach, Joseph, give me a rower to play it. Only a drop ball, I think, would stop them. Hughes, Munster, then cut out. Tony McPeer, Coates, great defence, Fogarty. Coates had to pull up and stop short of the line. Now Tony McPeer can get the half. And he's going to get over. Yes, he will, but back to the 10. So that's three tackles. Canberra's pride on the line here. They need to get straight back at the post after that first shift. Donald Papier went from dummy half and wasted a tackle. It. Yeah, it's wasted right a tackle. Kemba will get a chance to set their line again. Let's go. It's Coates. It's a Munster. And up for Grant. Nice hands, Grant. Then the Hughes. Thought about kicking. Brings Booty in. Randy steps away from Strange. Still on his feet. Spinning for Hughes. Hughes spotted the line. Great tackle again. Wyden was there for Canberra. Kept the line this time. Munster, Meany, Tony Mapia must pass. Doesn't pass, but scores himself. Coach 
was a certainty. It was tomato sauce on to score in the corner. And Tottenham Pierre held it himself. Yeah, they're so hungry to score points, aren't they? You've got a field here for the Canberra Raiders. Some large stick tackles there. And one especially was a beauty there from the 5'8", Jack White. And then they spread the ball to the left. Straight away, a couple of beat tackles there from Meany. And the quick play the ball, away they went. Hughes looks like he was going to score. That's a tackle I was talking about. And then straight away, caught for numbers. They couldn't hang on. Just wondering if he got the ball on the outside there, but didn't worry about it. Coach would be spewing. <laughs> didn't get the ball to score. <laughs> That's what like it. But it was only a matter of time if they hang on to the ball, they're going to score. Oh dear. This is for 50. 50 to 2. They kicked the penalty goal. What minute was it? Young Tottenham P is going to take the shot. What is it? Scorer's kick now. Well, yeah, maybe. He's got the shot to convert the try where he wasn't going to pass to Xavier Coates. Young Tottenham Pia. His uh, first shot in the NRL. Got no form at all to give you. It could be a wonderful moment, it could be embarrassing. Let's see, it could be a wonderful moment! No! They don't get the 50. It's a big win between two top four hopefuls. It's a knockout win. No question about it. Melbourne on target. Canberra have a heap of work to do. Full time at Amy Park. The run of the Raiders here in Melbourne comes to a resounding end. Melbourne 48, the Canberra Raiders 2.